In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to add rotations to parts. The first method is by opening up the timeline from the main toolbar and selecting the animation wizard. From there, you can choose your type of animation, which would be rotation, and then press next. Then you'll be presented with a scene tree, which you can expand and select a part. The part will be highlighted in the real-time view, indicating to which part the rotation will be applied. When you're happy with your selection, you can press next and the animation will be applied. The other method is by applying animations in the scene tree in the project window. The project window can be accessed by clicking the project icon from the main toolbar or by pressing spacebar. Then you can select a part in the real-time view by clicking on it. Then you can right-click in the scene tree and select add rotation. A rotation will be applied 90 degrees on the x-axis on the original axis for a one second duration. If you want to change the axis rotation you can select Y or Z and that will update in the real-time view. In this case we want Y. Now we can type in different values so if we know we want a full rotation we can type in 360 And if we want to orbit in the other direction, we can put a minus sign in front of that. So we can do negative 360. And that will change the rotation direction. And if we know we want more than one rotation, we can type in a simple math function. So we could do 360 times 4 and press enter. And that will give us four rotations. Now by default, animations will automatically orbit around the center of the part. That will work in some cases, but not all. For example, if we go back here and take a look at the suspension, if we want to orbit this spring, we would need it to orbit around this particular pivot point. And let's talk about how we're going to make that happen. First thing we'll want to do is make sure that things are organized in such a way that they're easy to find. So what I'll do is I'll rename this part to Rear Suspension Pivot. And I'll also make sure that this entire assembly is named Rear Suspension. Next, I'll select the spring and we'll right click and select add rotation. And you can see right away that this is not correct. For one, the direction of orbit is wrong and two, the pivot point is off. So instead of 90, let's do negative 90 and we'll see what that does for us. Okay, so now we have the correct direction of orbit, but next we need to tell the spring to orbit around this as the pivot point. So what we'll do We'll go down to our helper object, select pick, we'll find rear suspension, and from there we'll find rear suspension pivot. And you'll want to pick the lowest item in the hierarchy. So for example, this part is composed of a body. So I'm going to select the body level. Now, if we play back our animation, you can see it's orbiting around the correct point. Okay, so that works for the spring, but this part obviously has some other components attached to it that need to orbit as well. So instead of resetting that up, what we can do is we can copy this animation, select another part, right click and select paste linked animation. If we paste the linked animation, any adjustments made to this animation will affect both parts. For more information on copying and pasting animations, please see the tutorial that covers this. So 
we do have another part to add. So we'll paste linked animation. And one more. And let's paste linked animation. So now we've got our suspension orbiting. So that's a look at adding rotations and using helper objects to specify custom pivot points.